Saba. Good afternoon, Chief Justice. Are you relaxed or do you need help to be more relaxed? I need help. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a diploma, Juris. That's where you started, is that not? Yes. Did yes. you do, do it at Haras or elsewhere? I did it at Unitra. Oh, I see. Okay. And then B. Juris, LLB, LLM through UNISA. Yes. And uh, you started off as, as a magistrate. Was it at the district court, regional court, or high court? I beg your pardon, prosecutor, I'm sorry. District court, regional Dis court, uh, high court? District court. District court. And um, for how long were you a district court magistrate? Since 2000 and since 1996, sorry, until... 2001. And uh, for how long have you been a regional court magistrate? Since 2004 till now. So. Yes. Um, just tell us how your role as a magistrate, regional court uh, magistrate, and acting high court judge has prepared you for what you are now applying for. Mostly I did um, criminal cases in the district court and in the regional court. But when I was still in the district court, I did a few civil matters, but which were um, not to the scale of the, of the high court. And in the regional court, now that we have civil jurisdiction, we also do civil matters. And with the years that I've been on the bench, I think I am prepared for an appointment in the, in the high court. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Nochesi. Um, perhaps you, you have never been in the Mtata High Court. No, sir. You do not know how many judges are there? Mm. Like, how many judges in terms of how many male judges, female, and how many judges in that court at all? Um, no. So is the situation with regard to the PE, to the PEI court? You have never been there. You don't know anything. I did go there when I was in... Bisho, when I was acting in Bisho, I was in PE for a week. My point is based on the fact that you acted in Bisho for a few weeks. You, don't, you did not even take uh, three months. It was just for a few weeks and once. You don't know anything about this thing. I disagree. Okay. I, I was exposed to work there and the way counsel that appeared before me when I was there. And I even wrote five judgments when in the five week period that I was there. Okay. Lastly, you <coughs> have um, your family here in the Western Cape. I mean, your family is right here, your children here in the Western Cape. Since I am from the Eastern Cape, my family is in the Eastern Cape, but I have my children here. One is at Varsity, at, she stays there, and the other one is still young. Mm. Otherwise, my family is in the Eastern Cape. And your motivation to go to the Eastern Cape, to, I mean, to, to the Eastern Cape is because you want to go back home. You simply want to go back home. That's why you're applying for a post in the Eastern Cape. I have always wanted to go back home, but it's just that opportunities came first here in the Western Cape, and I had to grab them. I'm asking you precisely because there are two posts right now available in the Western Cape for judges. My Commissioner, she has, oh, she has made her choice. She has made her choice. 
No, she I... wants to go back home, and it's not wrong. I understand. You Kumbulika. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, lastly, not on this question now. Lastly, on, not on this question. Now, what is your understanding of the principle of legality? Principle of legality, it means that we are bound by the law. We cannot go out, as judges, we cannot go out of what We are bound by the, the law of the country. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Fori? I'll be brief, Chief Justice. I've mainly been covered. Have you seen the comments made by the Eastern Cape Society of Advocates? Yes. Uh, it says the only time when the applicant acted in the Eastern Cape was when she acted for a few weeks in the Bishop Division, where she was not exposed to any of our members with a result that the society is not really in a position to comment on her suitability <coughs> as a judge. The society is, however, of the view that the applicants should not, unless very special circumstances exist, be appointed to a division where they have not acted as this precludes the legal practitioners practicing in that division from assessing her qualities as a judge. The applicant's application furthermore does not clarify why, with the exception of a brief period in Bishu, she has not acted for a period of more than three and a half years, why she stopped acting in the Western Cape and why she is applying for the for appointment in the Eastern Cape and not the Western Cape. Have you got any comments? Um, on these comments that I read out to you that comes from the Eastern Cape Society of Advocates. They say they would prefer a person to have acted in the division. I did act in the Eastern Cape, although it was for a short while. And as for not acting for more than three and a half hours, sorry, three and a half years, I explained that when I was in the Eastern Cape, there were problems. The judge president invited me, but there were problems with budgetary constraints. Perhaps the last question. You acted in the Western Cape in 2011 and 2012 and never again. Is there any particular reason for that? When my contract was uh, not renewed, I did not uh, approach the JP again for another stint. Do you approach the JP or does the JP approach you? He approaches a person, but when it was extended, I did not pursue that. Thank you, Chief Justice. Thank you, Commissioner Fori. Thank you, ma'am. You're excused.